Hey, it's been a while, but I have a new comparison video. This is Dylan of RWTX. We have seven different HO manufacturers of ore cars up for comparison today. And I will cover many features, including couplers, weight, loads, and so on. So hang out with me today and enjoy video nine of the product comparison series. Now let's get rolling. So I'll start out with packaging, since that tends to be where you start anyways. But these first cars, uh, Roundhouse, MTH, kind of come in similar packaging with just plastic around them. I don't have it anymore. Um, here's the gold line. It's got that little piece of, a well, big piece of plastic that's separating all of them. These came in pretty big packs. That was a 12 pack. Um, here's ready to roll. Um, these have the individual pieces of film that go around each car. I would say that possibly could make that one the best. Main line is, there's no film, but it's pretty much the same as the Athern. You know, nothing really wrong with these business packaging. Um, just keeping keeping things separate. Uh, this one, a thing that I would like to note about this, this model power cars, is the box that they come in is actually kind of thick. So, you know, that might help protect them a little better. And uh, they do come with some extra parts as well. Now let's start off with the um, roundhouse. Uh, this car has horn hook couplers, plastic wheels, uh, metal weight with a plastic body. Pretty basic details and here you can see its weight. Pretty light. Uh, model power, these are actually some pretty good looking cars. McHenry couplers I believe. Um, the, the links in between. Uh, metal wheels, uh, plastic and metal body, as you imagine. Pretty good detail on it, though. Some of the best, actually. Up next is MTH. This one also has some of the best detail with KD number 140, 158 couplers. Pretty nice. Metal wheels, plastic and metal, you know, body. Um, great detail again. And uh, here's the weight, which little light actually but it does come with the load um, next one is Walther's mainline um, proto I guess you'd call them uh, couplers link in between metal wheels uh, plastic body with metal weight details pretty basic um, gold line is much of the same uh, they have the unit train couplers between them though uh, McHenry couplers I believe on the ends metal wheels Plastic body, metal weights, basic details, no load. Uh, roundhouse, these do come with a load. They come with McHenry couplers, um, got metal wheels, plastic body, you know, metal body, or metal weight. Um, also kind of molded in basic details. They do have decent weight though, not, not terrible. Um, Athern ready to roll. Uh, this one has McHenry couplers, metal wheels, um, does have a load, plastic body, metal weight, basic details. And here I'll let you see the coupler heights. Most of these were pretty good actually, but you can just uh, take a look for yourself. I will take this opportunity to remind you to please like. Uh, this video if you found it helpful at all and also subscribe to the rwx rwtx uh, youtube channel um, i enjoy when you make some comments as well i appreciate the feedback um, but anyways we're getting to the end of these couplers here um, you saw that model power one kind of had a bit of a sag that was really the worst one of any of them but uh, you can get that solved pretty quickly and pretty easily as well Up next, we're going to check out, make sure that these wheels are gauged correctly. Um, the They actually were all gauged pretty well. Um, really, the only thing this shows, um, you know, pretty clearly is um, the metal versus plastic wheels. They're all metal except for the uh, roundhouse um, kit, so that's, um, that's no big deal. But uh, I... It's pretty significant to make sure that your wheels are gauged correctly, and so pick up one of these um, handy little doodads um, if you ever get a chance, because it might make your uh, operations a little better. 
But um, yeah, everything seemed to work pretty good on these. So next I will just <clears throat> take a look down at the sides of all these cars. A couple uh, notes I wanted to make apparent are uh, some of these cars are actually different heights. Um, the model power car uh, set comes with um, extensions that we're going to check out a little bit in a little bit. Um, also, you can look at the decals there. Um, here's a top view. Um, so this first view that I'm showing has the loads in the um, cars that have them. Um, so this gives you an idea of like the thickness of the walls that you're dealing with. Also, some of them are wider. Like you can see the MTH here is, is a wider car. Um, so you can see there that this first view shows uh, which ones have loads. And so this one, this video has no loads in any of them, even the ones that uh, came with loads. Um, so then you can see like the interior of the car. Uh, none of them have like bracing that you would um, possibly think might be in there. Um, like some coal hoppers that you can buy in nature scale have the bracing on the inside. Um, it's removable and sometimes not, but these do not have bracing at all. Um, the, the MTH car does have some, you know, has a bit of, uh, some ribs on the side you can see there and also some kind of molded in detail, um, along with the model power as well. Um, so, and then you can see the roundhouse has some thick sides. And then here I just wanted to show, um, this kind of relates to, uh, containers being compatible with different brands. Uh, this ready to roll uh, load actually fits in the roundhouse car. So that's um, a worthy note. Uh, here's looks at the ends of the cars. Um, I tried to line these all up where you can see the brake wheel end on all of these. Um, some of them don't have brake wheels, but also a note is the, uh, the couplers that you're checking out here. Um, you'll notice the model power car has a horn hook coupler and the, the model power car does actually come with horn hook couplers as an extra option. I just had them on there to make it easy to hook them all up. But uh, there's there's some good detail on that MTH car you can see. And so that's that's good to see on the ends. Um, here's the uh, the couplers that, um, or the, the function, I guess the way that they connect. Um, Walther's comes with the little hook thing and on in, in between cars and then uh, Protomax on the end. Model power much of the same. Um, it comes with horn hooks that you can use. And then also has these in, um, extensions you can put on. Um, but uh, I mean, I just put the horn hook on there just to make it where it'll connect with the other ones that I have. Um, I personally would just put normal couplers on all these if I went that way. And then Gold Line, they have what's uh, called unit train couplers. They're similar to the E and C um, couplers. They're kind of dummies. Um, but they work fine, and then the end cars have normal uh, McHenry couplers. Uh, so now we'll get to my favorite parts of the video to make, and that's uh, testing out how well they roll. Um, again, you're going to, you know, you, you want to know which ones of these roll the best, especially if there's some that don't roll very well at all. Well, they all rolled fairly well. Um, both of the Walters, um, be it Gold Line and Main Line, they were the worst rolling ones. Um, in terms of why... Um, it must be something with the design of their uh, wheels or trucks or something because it's not like they're the lightest ones or even the heaviest ones. Um, the one with plastic wheels, this was the way it was with the open auto racks video. Um, Roundhouse in this case is the one that rolled the furthest. Um, and it was even the lightest if I remember right. So, um, but anyways, I, um, I really enjoyed this particular, uh, part of the video just because it's fun to watch them roll around but um you know and these getting a nice ore train together um it's i feel like it's almost more important to know how well they roll because you have a lot more um wheels and trucks and you know possibly screws that could um mess with how well they uh roll and turn so um yeah these um they all roll pretty well so that's uh that's a good note to have so that's about all the uh, information that I have on ore cars for you today. Um, I'm gonna bring up the uh, comparison graph that I like to make. Um, as you can see, uh, based on the scores that I made, um, the Atherin ready to roll ended up being 
um, having the lowest score um, as as a reminder lowest score means it's the best um, roundhouse ready to roll is pretty much right there with it um, that brings me to a point that I want to make um, I assume this I don't know this for sure but being that um, Athern owns a roundhouse and being that Athern ready to roll hasn't released any of these ore cars in a while but roundhouse has I would assume that these are actually the same car um, so the fact that they both come in at similar scores um, kind of helps me uh, reinforce that um, but uh, they're, I, I really like those. Um, personally, my favorite would be the MTH, um, just because they have um, some really good detail, and they used to be pretty affordable. Now that MTH doesn't exist as as MTH, uh, Scale Trains bought them, but uh, maybe Scale Trains will release some. So that'll be uh, that'll be exciting to see when that happens. Uh, another note is um, on the availability. I I had to get kind of creative on uh, breaking a few ties. Uh, mainline and roundhouse ready to roll uh, those are the only two of these seven that are still in production so those were pretty simple in uh, determining their score uh, but the other five you can only find them on ebay and so i would just um, base it on the amount of auctions available and the amount of sales recently um, for those other five in order to find a score um, from three to seven um, also Varney, um, a company long in the past, and I'm sure there's probably others, um, but I bring up Varney because I found a few of those um, in the process of um, looking for ore cars. Uh, they do make these. Um, they're going to be a similar quality to the roundhouse kits, um, not, not very good. Um, so if you want to get a real budget um, sort of uh, ore car train, um, you could go that route as well. Um, but that is, um, I believe, all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, please like it. Um, also, leave me some comments underneath. Um, again, let me know what you're wanting to see next. I really can't promise you when the next time I'll get one of these out. I know it took me a long time to get this one, but um, schedules kind of uh, get moved around in terms of what I have going on. Um, please uh, like the, uh, the video, like I said, but also uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, check out my other series. Um, I hope to get some uh, um, some other interesting videos up here pretty soon from holiday time. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.